Stability is one of those words which I don't really look for because for me I have a personality that wants to grow on a daily basis till my dying day. Once you start to on a daily basis get out of your comfort zone and start to kill your self doubt, inner confidence and stability will come automatically. Sasi Priya, how to overcome self doubt? stuck with higher high inner confidence and stability ma'am sasi priya the truth is that self doubt doesn't leave us it travels with us for the rest of our life even if you get over it in some parts in some other parts it will show up maybe now i've become super comfortable with insta lives so i don't have doubt in how to do insta lives but next i have to start doing podcast maybe i don't know how to do podcast maybe i'll start doing podcast and i'll learn that and then something new will show up we will have to learn to do that so every day in our life we have to get over self doubt because something new will show up and we have to learn that so getting comfortable and carrying self doubt knowing that is going to be with us everywhere we go is a huge uh, learning that we have okay once you start to on a daily basis get out of your comfort zone and start to kill your self doubt inner confidence and stability will come automatically stability is one of those words which i don't really look for because for me i have a personality that wants to grow on a daily basis till my dying day and stability is more for people who who are okay stagnating my suggestion is you look for inner confidence and your inner confidence should say that even if i don't have stability i have the ability to be able to manage whatever shows up okay start to have that as your prayer shweta angel gold it's been 6 years that i'm struggling with my life it's become difficult to get what i want and i'm losing hope now i'm doing gratitude a lot since 2 years but no change yet shweta actually honestly if you do gratitude correctly it's not humanly possible for change to not happen so i'm wondering what kind of gratitude are you doing shweta so i would love for you to change your energy towards you cannot do gratitude every day and not see a new life getting created if you do it the right way i didn't even know that there's a right way to gratitude till you're saying this so i want you to start to i think a lot of times what happens is life has changed but you are not noticing the change because you're so busy focused on those one or two three two things that haven't changed i would love for you to shift your focus to what has changed okay so today onwards start to make a list of in the last 6 years what has improved in my life make that list and i can assure you as you make that list that's when you will start to observe oh my god there is so much that has changed but whenever something wrong will happen you will dip again and every time you will dip you will feel like nothing has changed and you go back into your ungrateful personality and that's the downfall of the change that we are looking for if nothing helps shweta come join my awakening program sweetheart uh, speak to radhika or gunjan we'll be sharing their number under this video Uh, they will definitely be able to help you and i can assure you you cannot go through awakening and not have life changing experiences but remember just one thing shweta your inner world changes your outer world your outer world doesn't change your inner world so it's just because your in, in your entire personality i need you to awaken a part of you where you start to redesign your life inside for it to start to show up outside but for that you will have to have a little bit of patience and a little bit of inspirational action you will have to take which means that when you will do these things you will get inspired to do some things at that point don't not have the courage to take action on it make sure you have the ability to take action on it because god is wanting to fix your life but if you are not willing to take action there's only so much idea he can send to you after that it's all in your hands na jan